church whenever you're ready. Okay. Uh, let us know what your thoughts are on the game. Well, yeah, I thought that I thought that thought we could beat it in regards to the first quarter. I thought it got away from us a little bit in the uh, from the last four minutes before the half. You know, we just quit scoring. They went to a zone. Um, thought our man stuff was going really well. He kind of stifled us a little bit. Um, started taking up. Taking some bad shots, some quick shots, which is not what we wanted to do. But I thought that up to that point, we were doing what we were supposed to do. Um, they came out and did it in the three to just the game plan. We really did not want to give them the paint. We were living with the points in the paint. Um, and I uh, felt like we did that most of the game. So uh, I just feel like we had too many possessions on the team. For Anisha, what was it like matching up with your former high school teammate, Renaya? You just looked like y'all were kind of dueling, like, dueling each other for a while there, both of y'all scoring a lot. Um, well, it was kind of bittersweet because we both played at the same high school, but in the day, we both are out there to compete on the court. So knowing that she was my teammate in high school, I just knew I had to come play and just leave our friendship off the court. Three state championships there at Rebels? Three state championships, one national. In the four years. Mm -hmm. Coach, obviously Tennessee getting its first 18 points from the R yeah. surprised everybody watching. I mean, yeah, were you? Too. <laughs> that wasn't. I'm sure that wasn't the scouting report, and would not have been anybody's scouting report. Right. Just, what do you think? They just got hot. Are you? Did, did those things just kind of frustrate you when you're like, you know, this this yeah. should be happening this way? Yeah, yeah. You know, we. Uh, that's not typically what they do. Um, but, you know, they. And I'll probably get a better job of taking that away, especially in the second half. But um, and again, they started coming down and the transitions on. So you, you have to play consistent with them um, to, to really be in the game. But they've come off of you know big win with Notre Dame, you know, so they've had a lot of confidence. They've got things with us and Tennessee State. They, they, I mean, they're playing very confident. So and they're doing the right things. They, they seem to be getting better. I mean, I watched their East Tennessee State game from the first game on to Notre Dame to Tennessee State. And they just I think they're getting better and better, which probably just starting to flow more for them. Plus, they're on their home floor, so we felt like we had we kind of had to pick our poison, and that's what we were going to do. We just felt like, okay, if they go outside the arc and they start making all these threes, then but you know we felt like we had to we had to to really guard the paint. Just. Um how much does their this Tennessee's link that like the guard positions mm -hmm. and inside, but I mean yeah. specific at the guard position, how much does their link really affect what you're trying to do on pretty specific on specific one offense? Yeah, well, it, yeah, it's hard to score. That was my biggest concern. It's how we're going to get points on the board, and it's very difficult to score against them. You know, especially too when they go to a zone and they pack it in a little bit. And, and we're not typically a great three point shooting team, you know, but I thought they did really well. And our players who knew shoot threes, they knew who they were, so. Um, but their size, it, it makes a difference. You know, you, you have to, uh, you, know, you can't come down and just pass at one time. You have to move the bigs around. You have to actually pull them out. And I think that's what, what Day Day, you know, why she's effective is her versatility. If you pull them out, then you can be much more effective in getting some space to get around them. But um, there, there's just no way if we try to browbeat and throw it in there that we're going to be able to score because they're, they're, they're big every position. Lynn, do you see any difference in them defensively compared to maybe when you were here last year? You, yeah. you had a, ran up, got up yeah. to a 20 point lead and hit some, yeah. hit some shots on them. Do they look any better defensively? Maybe how they're going about things, or what do you see there? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think they're, they're, you know, I think they're, they don't quite gamble as much. If that's what, what you know, what, you know, it just seems like. You know, last year they they pressed us more, and I remember when they pressed us, they extended their defense 94 feet. We would score. We, you know, we would score against their press. But this year they didn't do that. They did not. They didn't extend their defense. They made us play in a half court and score over their size because, you know, if they extend it, we would probably prefer that. Um, you know, being a smaller team, but this year they didn't do that. They did not get up and press us. They they played a straight up man to man and just and then played a very effective zone. And you know they did not let us get second, third shot. So um, 
you know, at that point, you're shooting a contested shot every possession. I mean, that's, that's hard. It's hard to score, considering they have three to five inches on us. Denisha, you scored inside, you scored outside. I mean, you can walk out of here knowing you battled Tennessee. That's a one-part question. Just talk about that battle. Second, you guys have been on the road forever. Are you guys ready to get back home? Um, of course, it's good to play at your home gym. Um, traveling has been a little tiring, but at the end of the day, you have to play through it on the court and just get a win. Um, scoring on the uh, court, um, I just knew I had to be aggressive. Um, I knew that scout they probably gonna look at me from the inside and outside so I just had to think of counter moves and different shots to go in and score. I think I called some of your moves ninja at one point. <laughs> I mean you guys just got around them. Yeah. yeah. I would say, you know, as far as our conference, I've said this a lot. She's probably the most versatile player in our league. You know, and our, she can go inside or outside if you play her you know, we play her to one side if teams are really pressing us and really pressing we'll just give it to her and have her bring that and we'll play her in every spot. Dana, I think there was a point there in the second quarter where, where Renai was guarding you. Um, did you did she make any impression on you with, with her defense or not? Um, no, not really. I seen her as any other defender out there. Um, I knew I could if I got the ball, I could get past her. I knew I could shoot off the screen. Um, but she came out pretty aggressive. But I just had to bounce back off that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.